Agua There must be a kind of painting totally free of the dependence on the figure or object, which, like music, illustrates nothing, tells no story, and launches no myth. Such painting would simply evoke the incommunicable kingdoms of the spirit, where dream becomes thought, where line becomes existence. Michel Souffour It's with such profound happiness, such a hallelujah. Hallelujah, I shout, hallelujah merging with the darkest human howl of the pain of separation, but a shout of diabolic joy. Because no one can hold me back now. I can still reason. I studied mathematics which is the madness of reason. But now I want the plasma. I want to eat straight from the placenta. I am a little scared, scared of surrendering completely, because the next instant is the unknown. The next instant, do I make it, or does it make itself? We make it together with our breath and with the flare of the bullfighter in the ring. Let me tell you, I'm trying to seize the fourth dimension of this instant now, so fleeting that it's already gone because it's already become a new instant now that's also already gone. Every thing has an instant in which it is. I want to grab hold of the is of the thing. These instants passing through the air I breathe. In fireworks they explode silently in space. I want to possess the atoms of time. And to capture the present forbidden by its very nature. The present slips away, and the instant too. I am this very second, forever in the now. Only the act of love, the limpid, star-like abstraction of feeling, captures the unknown moment. The instant hard as crystal, and vibrating in the air, and life is this untellable instant, larger than the event itself. During love, the impersonal jewel of the moment shines in the air, the strange glory of the body, matter made feeling in the trembling of the instant. And the feeling is both immaterial and so objective that it seems to happen outside your body, sparkling on high. Joy. Joy is time's material and the essence of the instant. And in the instant is the is of the instant. I want to seize my is. And like a bird, I sing hallelujah into the air and my song belongs to no one. But no passion suffered in pain and love is not followed by a hallelujah. Is my theme the instant? The theme of my life. I try to keep up with it. I divide thousands of times into as many times as the number of instants running by fragmented as I am, and the moments so fragile. My only vow is to life born with time and growing along with it. Only in time itself is there room enough for me. 
all of me is writing to you, and I feel the taste of being, and the taste of you is as abstract as the instant. I also use my whole body when I paint, and set the bodiless upon the canvas, my whole body wrestling with myself. You don't understand music, you hear it. So hear me with your whole body. When you come to read me, you will ask why I don't keep to painting and my exhibitions, since I write so rough and disorderly. It's because now I feel the need for words, and what I'm writing is new to me, because until now my true word has never been touched. The word is my fourth dimension. Today I finished the canvas I told you about. Curves that intersect in fine black lines, and you, with your habit of wanting to know why, I'm not interested in that. The cause is past matter. Will ask me why the fine black lines because of the same secret that now makes me write as if to you, writing something round and rolled up and warm, but sometimes cold as the fresh instance, the water of an ever-trembling stream. Can what I painted on this canvas be put into words, just as the silent word can be suggested by a musical sound? I see that I've never told you how I listen to music. I gently rest my hand on the record player and my hand vibrates, sending waves through my whole body. And so I listen to the electricity of the vibrations, the last substratum of reality's realm, and the world trembles inside my hands.